A father who stabbed to death an intruder in his home has been told he'll face no criminal charges. Vincent Cook was arrested on suspicion of murder after the incident last month. But today, the Crown Prosecution Service said that they believe Mr Cook was acting in self-defence, fearing for his life and that his family was in danger. It's the third case of its kind in Greater Manchester in recent months. And our chief reporter, Dave Guest, is outside Mr Cook's home in Bramall now. Dave. Yes, Roger, it was on September 17th that Vincent Cook faced our, all of our worst nightmares, an armed intruder in his own home over the road there. The events that followed led to the death of that intruder and to a living nightmare for Mr Cook and his family. It's the kind of neighbourhood where people feel safe. But last month, that sense of security was shattered for Vincent Cook when he was confronted by an armed intruder in his own home. That intruder was Raymond Jacob. He had a knife, but Mr Cook tackled him. During their struggle, Raymond Jacob suffered fatal stab wounds. Mr Cook then found himself arrested on suspicion of murder. This a nice bloke. He's a hard-working guy. Um, works very hard for himself and his wife and son. And um, he's just an average guy. Greater Manchester Police say it was entirely proper that Mr Cook should be arrested and then a thorough and open-minded investigation carried out. That, they say, is what happened. Today, the Crown Prosecution Service said there would be no further action against Mr Cook. Mr Cook had been taken upstairs at knife point and that during a struggle with Raymond Jacobs, Mr Cook stabbed him in self-defence. At the time, he was clearly in fear for his own safety and that of his wife and 12-year-old son. Neighbours applauded that decision. I think it's right. I think a man has a right to defend his home and his family and his property. Mr Cook, meantime, gave his reaction in a statement read by his solicitor. I'm most relieved that the CPS have decided not to charge me with any offence. It has been a living nightmare for me and I'm still suffering flashbacks of the incident. A 33-year-old man who was arrested in connection with the incident is due to face a court later this year charged with aggravated burglary. Now, if all this sounds strangely familiar, that's hardly surprising. This is the third case of its kind in Greater Manchester in recent weeks. Back in June in Pendlebury, a man was arrested and then released without charge after stabbing to death a burglar in his home. Then in Trafford in August, a pensioner again was arrested, then released without charge after a burglar was stabbed uh, during an affray at a florist shop there. Back to you. Dave, thanks very much indeed. That's Dave Guest in, uh, in Bramall. Let's to explore some of the issues involved in this case a little further. We're joined by Gillian Crossley, who's a partner in the law firm uh, Burton Copeland. Gillian, thanks for coming in. Um, we heard the neighbours talking there, all broadly supportive of, of the actions of the homeowner, but a man did die here. Why have the CPS, do you think, decided not to prosecute? Well, there is almost a presumption in favour of not prosecuting a householder or, or a shopkeeper who has acted in good faith and reasonably in order to defend either himself or his family. And there were no witnesses to this really though, aside from the people involved, so how do we know? Well, well the test, there, there are two aspects to the test. Um, first of all, the, the court would have to look, or the prosecution would have to look, to see uh, whether there was force used and whether that force, the circumstances in which that force was used, whether it was necessary to use that force, uh, and then to look at the actual level of force uh, and to decide, well, was that reasonable? Uh, and in order to look at these two tests, uh, common sense comes into play. And it's not a question of just simply saying, this is the net result, that unfortunately somebody has lost their life. The whole of the circumstances have to be looked at and the attitude of the, of the person who has been responsible for causing the death. It's, it's everybody's worst fear, of course. Many people might go to bed with a, with a cricket bat under the bed, for example, precisely for this reason, to protect themselves. Yes. Um, does that show an element of intent? If you then go and use that against somebody who breaks into your house, very briefly. D depends on the circumstances. If the, the householder runs out of the house after the offender, the burglar, uh, and hits him using force which is disproportionate in circumstances which are unreasonable, that will clearly show that that man is not acting in self-defence, but is in fact being vindictive. And that's a very different situation to the situation that we understand applies in this case.
Gillian, thanks very much indeed. Gillian Crossley from uh, Burton Copeland. You exposed